Hello and welcome, I am Zinder and this is episode 23 of my Minecraft Let's Play and we're back to continuing on the uh, the elevator. However, there's some things that are different because I had started recording but I had forgot to set it so Skype couldn't get a hold of me, basically. So, the ending result in the whole thing was that uh, I ended up getting the video pretty much screwed over by a Skype call. And, yeah, I could have left it in there, but I didn't want to do that, because that just seemed bad to me. Yep, that's my horrible answer. It seemed bad to me. Um, however, uh, I've made a little bit of progress, not a whole lot. Took that block out, because I was testing to see if that would work. I don't actually know if that would work. I know it would, however, that would cause some really funky things to happen with the door. So, hmm. I thought I knew what I was doing, but apparently I'm not doing a very good job of knowing what I'm doing. Uh, I keep on trying to move this over, and it's eventually going to get to the point where I just have to m move the door entirely out. Well, it's already at that point. I don't know where I'm going to put it. There's probably not going to be any windows over here. It's just all going to be a big mess, but I tried. There's, of course, there's nothing to say I can't put windows... Well, if this is here. I might be able to put windows somewhere. We'll put it that way. But in the current state of this, things are getting very muchly in my way. The button is going to be attached to right there at the moment, which is, and there's going to be a wall here, so that won't be there. Um, actually, there's a serious flaw in this problem, problem, in this idea, and that flaw is the fact that the button has to be somewhere where I can hit it from within the elevator. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about that. I do think that, you know, I've realized a serious issue with this whole thing. Why don't I just build the entire thing out of fence gates? Because then I should be able to just close one and stand on the others, in theory. Um, it'd be a pretty crappy looking elevator in the end, probably, but uh, that's one of the textures that I still have to recolor. Yeah, it's wood, I know, but so is the wooden door, and it's that's technically a door-type thing, and I might redo fences in general to match it, but I think that actually inherits from the wood texture, so the chance of me being able to change that is pretty slim. Wish there was fence gates of other types of fences, such as iron fences, and for all I know, there might be, and I might just be retarded, but to my knowledge, there isn't. So, we're just going to go with that. Now, right here, we'll see the button. We'll go there. Um, so, we'll transfer power down to here. That'll actually work out quite nicely, I think. Other than... No, yeah. shouldn't cause any problems there. Shouldn't. It's something I don't know for sure. Now when I go in here, the room back there for the button. I mean, I, I could in theory try to extend this down at some point, but just the sheer limitation of pushing distance on pistons pretty much ruins everything not necessarily ruins it, but it makes it very difficult to try and make any real large setup. And I still don't have sticky pistons, so there's not a whole lot I can actually do with pistons. But um, Now, I kind of want to do something about this. And I could very easily run that all directly underneath 
You know, I've made this into one gigantic mess. It's very hard for me to navigate my way through. Um, hmm. I want to avoid moving my door as much as possible. I did a little bit of testing. So three pist er, three pistons, three uh, things. Should be plenty enough for this. With one of them on two. It can be extended further, but... Oh, it's going to throw off the timing. That'll work better. This... This is just... You know... This tree just... Has to go. And I've used enough wood. Why not harvest it? Um, okay kind of half mumbling every now and then, I know, trying to do the ridiculous amount of thinking that's required for this whole thing. Uh, I'm going to do that, and everything's probably still going to end up being so sh very, very off. Hmm. Oh. Never mind. I was going to see if I couldn't... Hmm. You know, I'm kind of an idiot. There's no reason why I can't just do... Okay, you things need to move out of my way. There's no reason why I can't just do that. And then that way... These can be right here. Excuse me, a little bit of redstone. Condenses the back of this a little bit more. So now I can get rid of this. Um, but the big issue, the major issue of it all, is going to be the wiring from up here. Which these leaves are in my way. And I might... Hmm... That's, because that's not going to get extremely in the way. Um, but I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to handle this whole thing. I'm going to block this off like so. I don't want to fill in that corner because I really like how that roof looks, and there's not really a need to fill in the corner itself. But trying to determine how I'm going to add, be able to add the delay that I'm looking for. Now, what? There, there's a lot of very bad redstone wiring going on here. Oh, jumped down because I was trying to figure out where the wiring was coming from. Now, what? What kind of crazy, ridiculous wiring setup do I got going on here? God, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Um. Why do I have a very bad feeling that's not going to work as intended? Well, it's one easy way to find out. Yep, just as I figured. This is going to further complicate matters. Whoops. Keep placing the wrong thing. Now, whoa. That could have been dangerous. Now that that works, and that works, I don't need to test that. That one's 
pretty obvious to me. Now, for the moment, I'm going to take this ridiculous wiring setup. Clear out all the extra crap, such as those. Still gonna need to come out one more with the way I currently have this set up, but you know, oh no, no. Apparently, I don't even know. So, uh, I do need to see if this will work if it's running on a pulsar. And this whole pulsar is going to need an extra delay. I should probably make sure it has plenty enough delay in order to fully reset itself. None of the pistons are running. Now I'm kind of worried. So in order for there to be no pistons running, that would have to mean that the entire system is jammed somewhere. But... It's... Oh... What? Okay, where are you cutting out? Uh, I was afraid of that. I'm taking one of these. We're going to take this here. Place it right there. Make that the two. Take the two out of this. You know, thinking maybe my delay is just too long. Hey now. You see I'm a little busy here. But I've got something seriously wrong going on with this. Oh no! This is what I get for working on redstone outside. Without even getting all the timings right. Oh no! Thinking I'm safe, working in the middle of the darkness. Gotta get that diamond pick. Oh! Come on now. Ugh. And this is why having an iron door is very, very bad. Who 
went from no monsters to being swarmed pretty quickly, though. That was crazy. Um... I don't know if I really lost anything redstone related. I do know there's a giant hole in the ground now. I I'm not making a whole lot of progress on this, so I might actually have to play around and see if I can't come up with some kind of an alternate. I, I should just grab my other four pistons. Come down in that big open room where the tree form was and experiment. So if I can get it to run in one solid little conveyor. Which I should have done that first. I'm actually going to need the... All of these. I hear someone sneaking up on me. And apparently some of my stuff was down here, so I guess it's a good thing I came back out. But, uh, need to see if I can't fix this whole mess. Oh, the window's gone. I th think I was planning on putting the button there at one point, and that's part of the problem. But we're gonna go down here, in a safe place, see if we can't get the timing on these things right. bricks except one block. Put this here. Select as our button. Inventory is all messed up. That's what I get though. I'm sure somebody knew it was going to happen eventually. I was kind of surprised that I wasn't being attacked sooner than I was, but what are you going to do? Now, if I want this one to trigger first, we're going to say I want the wait, we can't have that one triggering first, we don't have these set up right. Okay. Now we're going to have this one trigger first. And after that happens, we want to come over here. We want this one to trigger second. See, I think I know part of what went wrong. With the whole setup, I think I can fix that. Should I move this over? One, two, three. Oops, three. Um. Okay. The hell kind of terrible redstone setup was that? Clicking things, putting things in wrong positions, not even keeping track of time. Say you to four. Say you to four. This gap will be up here. Now let's try this again. Now 
This one's still not triggering right. Try that. Gotta fix this again. I'm apparently so bad at this. Of course, so if I gotta add to one, I've gotta add to them all. going on here and that explains part of my issue. Those repeaters were not set up right. Okay, now we're going to remove all of these, test this again. Set all these things back to where I wanted them to be. And now we press the button. Okay, so, if it works here, I wonder. Do one of these. Yep. Had to go off to another spot to experiment with redstone just because I apparently was failing so bad that I needed to. You know, I should probably make sure that... Uh, I know the pulsar is set up right. Now... Everything is all out of whack now. I'm suppose I'm I'm sure that if I had obsidian blocking this stuff, this wouldn't happen because it would basically self-correct itself. put obsidian down, but I want to see if that would stop it from breaking itself repeatedly. You know, I should have something else in here, like dirt blocks or something, so I don't use up my pick, but I still get a decent amount of iron, so whatever. Oh no, I think I lost my obsidian. Fucking creepers. You son of a bitch creepers. Of course, everything would be despawned by now. So, I don't know, I guess we're going to go over here and hope that there's four more obsidian. Although I have this feeling that there is not. Now, yeah, looks like I mined it all and it was ten, so... Well, that's kind of crap. You know, there's other blocks that can't be pushed. And I happen to know one of those for a fact. Chests. Gonna waste a bunch of wood making chests. Just so that way I have an unmovable block to test this with. And I'm pretty sure they don't transfer power, which is just gonna make this even more confusing. So then I'm gonna test it down here and it's probably gonna screw up because it'll transfer the, the obsidian will transfer power, but these don't and That's a gamble that I'm willing to take. You know it's a gamble I'm not willing to take? Diamond pick. Now 
Now we're going to use these chests as the, uh, the buffers to prevent the pushing. And I I'm a big fan of big open rooms for testing out things, so I'm actually glad this turned out the way that it did. There. It looks really funny. I might need repeaters. More of them. Just uh, add one more into each of these again. And then we're going to take this pulsar, which is apparently going to be just two of these. So, okay, well, one of these chests was in the wrong spot. Okay, now. As you can tell, I'm playing with the timing to see if I can't keep this going, but a little bit faster. I should be able to run this one more time. Well, not run this, but I mean, if I chop out this pulsar right here, I should be able to knock out one of these on each one of them. And as long as I have it set to max, it should hopefully do the goal that I'm trying to cause. No, heck, I'm just going to leave that set up like that. Now we plug the pulsar back in. Oh. That's... Strange. Hmm. Looks like I need four on each of these, which is kind of saddening. And this is going to be a big mess. I'm going to need a bunch of redstone to pull the whole thing off. and It's going to be a disaster, but... It shouldn't be that bad, because all I'd have to do is... Is apparently not know what I need to do. I'm going to need a lot of repeaters. I wonder if I can make this faster.
that seems very odd to me. But, see, now we're going to need X number of traveled blocks times that, essentially. Because there won't be a pulsar involved, there will have to be nine different streams that meet up at one spot. Well, I say nine, I don't know the actual height, but... However many streams, times... Basically, there's going to be a lot of redstone used. But, we now have the concept, we now know it's four. It doesn't even need to be a second tick on the fourth one. Which is why I'm kind of saddened by the whole thing. But now I have extra chests. Gonna rip all this apart. And, uh, apparently I'm just going to call this, the, I'm going to add another part to this stupid elevator, and at the moment, I'm going to call this episode done, because I'm pretty sure I've spent a lot more time on it so far than I had originally ever intended, and the episode's probably long, so we're going to go out here, and I'm going to call this good. This is the end of episode 23, and I'll see you again in episode 24.